Technology. It never sleeps. It also never stops demanding things, updates, new cables, the occasional blood sacrifice to the Wi-Fi gods. And yet, we keep asking it for more. We want our devices to do everything. They should probably do our taxes too. So naturally someone finally went ahead and invented it. The all-in-one desktop computer that also brews your coffee, churns your ice cream and bakes your bread. Picture this. You stumble out of bed, eyes barely open, and stumble toward the intoxicating aroma of freshly brewed coffee. But wait, it's not just any coffee. It's coffee brewed by your computer. This, my friends, is the future. It's the ultimate kitchen counter companion. First, let's talk about how this marvel of modern technology actually works. The operating systems we know and love, or at least tolerate, are now responsible for more than just opening your browser and reminding you to update your privacy settings. Let's start with Windows, shall we? Imagine, if you will, trying to explain to your computer that you want a medium roast, not a burnt offering that could double as a weapon. Now imagine doing that with the cheerful helpfulness of a Windows error message. Your coffee has encountered a problem and needs to restart. Please try again later. And don't even get me started on what happens when a mandatory Windows update coincides with your attempt to bake a cake. Let's just say frosting is flammable. Speaking of operating systems, let's not forget about the Mac. Ah, the Mac. Sleek, stylish, and about as intuitive as a Rubik's Cube when it comes to actually making anything other than a spreadsheet. Mac users are used to this, of course. Simplicity, at the cost of your sanity. But now, imagine trying to navigate the minimalist interface of your MacBook while simultaneously attempting to operate a high-powered food processor. It's enough to make you long for the days of dial-up internet. And don't even get me started on the dongles. Wanna make toast? There's a dongle for that. But hey, at least your kitchen will look aesthetically pleasing, even if it's in a state of perpetual chaos. Finally, we arrive at Linux, the operating system for people who find Windows too user-friendly and Mac too restrictive. Linux users, the pioneers of the command line, are probably already figuring out how to hack this all-in-one appliance to brew their own craft beer, using only rainwater and a potato. Imagine, you could have your Linux computer not just bake you a loaf of bread, but also write you a Python script to optimize your sourdough starter's fermentation process. The possibilities are endless, as long as you're comfortable with the idea of spending your weekends troubleshooting kernel panics, instead of, you know, actually enjoying your weekend. But hey, who needs free time when you can compile your own operating system from scratch? Don't worry, they'll post a detailed tutorial on Reddit. So, there you have it, the good, the bad, and the potentially illegal. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go figure out how to change the ink cartridge on my toaster. Let's face it, this thing is going to be a disaster. A glorious, messy, hilarious disaster. Imagine trying to explain to your grandma that she can't use the computer to video chat with the grandkids because it's busy preheating the oven. It's a system resource issue, grandma. Just use your phone. And what about the inevitable software bugs? I can already picture it now. Error 404, coffee not found. Or my personal favorite, critical system error. Bread dough sentient, please evacuate premises. But amidst the chaos, there might actually be some good. You could be working on a spreadsheet while simultaneously baking cookies and brewing a pot of chamomile tea to calm your inevitable tech-induced anxiety. It's the ultimate multitasking machine for the modern age. Just make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy. Of course, no technological marvel would be complete without the constant need for updates. Imagine this, you're already running late for work, you just need a quick piece of toast, but alas, your toaster informs you that it needs to install a critical security update. Estimated installation time, 45 minutes. You'll be lucky if you make it to work before lunch. And don't even get me started on the untested features. Remember that time your phone's latest software update turned all your selfies into pictures of cats? Yeah, imagine that, but with your breakfast. You might end up with scrambled eggs that look suspiciously like Richard Nixon, or a waffle that's singing show tunes. Just remember, when your computer asks if you want to install the latest update, maybe, just maybe, stick to a bowl of cereal that morning. Speaking of untested features, let's talk about the experimental flavor pairing algorithm. I've always found cooking to be a somewhat therapeutic activity. There's something satisfying about taking raw ingredients and transforming them into something delicious. 
But with the advent of the all-in-one computer, cooking has taken on a whole new level of stress. Now instead of simply worrying about whether I've added enough salt, I have to contend with the possibility of a system crash mid-souffle. And don't even get me started on the joys of troubleshooting a router while simultaneously trying to prevent a pan of bechamel sauce from burning. It's enough to make you want to order takeout for the rest of your life. But hey, at least I can always count on the helpful folks over at Tech Support. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to walk me through the process of rebooting my oven while I'm on hold, listening to the soothing sounds of Kenny G. Maybe I'll just stick to making toast. Section 8. Baking bread, easier than installing a printer. We all know that installing a printer is one of the most soul-crushing experiences known to mankind. It's right up there with trying to assemble IKEA furniture while blindfolded and reading the terms and conditions for a software update. But fear not, because the all-in-one computer is here to make installing a printer seem like a walk in the park. Why? Because now you have bigger, more pressing issues to deal with, like trying to explain to your computer that no, you don't want to add bacon bits to your smoothie. I long for the days when my biggest technological challenge was figuring out how to rewind a VHS tape without crinkling it. Now, I'm expected to navigate complex culinary algorithms while simultaneously trying to remember my grandmother's Wi-Fi password. It's enough to make you want to give up on technology altogether and live off the grid, subsisting on berries and the occasional squirrel. Sir, your bread maker is trying to connect to the Bluetooth speaker. Section 9. The Quest for the Elusive 5.25 Floppy Drive Remember floppy disks? Those archaic squares of plastic that held a whopping 1.44 megabytes of data? Yeah, they're back. Because of course they are. It seems the all-in-one computer, in all its futuristic glory, requires a 5.25 floppy disk to unlock the bonus dessert recipes pack. Because nothing says cutting edge like having to track down a piece of technology that's older than the internet. I spent a whole Saturday scouring flea markets and vintage electronics stores, only to return home empty-handed and smelling faintly of mothballs. The internet, as helpful as ever, suggested I try eBay. So, here I am, bidding on a dusty box of floppy disks that may or may not contain the key to unlocking my computer's culinary potential. And you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. Section 10. Toasters of the Future A glimpse into tomorrow's kitchen chaos. So what does the future hold for the all-in-one computer? Will our kitchens become havens of automated efficiency, where robots whip up gourmet meals while we lounge on the sofa, browsing our virtual recipe books? Or will we be at the mercy of our increasingly sentient appliances, held hostage by our toasters, and forced to eat nothing but kale chips and gluten-free bread? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be a wild ride. I, for one, am looking forward to the day when my refrigerator can order groceries for me. Of course, it'll probably end up ordering nothing but pickles and anchovies because it knows I have a weakness for the bazaar. And who knows, maybe one day our computers will be able to read our minds and anticipate our culinary desires before we even know what we want. Section 11. In conclusion, embrace the chaos crumbs and all. The all-in-one computer is here, and it's not going anywhere. It's time to embrace the chaos crumbs and all. Because in the end, isn't that what life is all about? Navigating the unexpected, laughing at the absurdity of it all, and occasionally enjoying a perfectly toasted piece of bread. Just remember to keep a fire extinguisher handy, you know, just in case. And maybe invest in a good supply of floppy disks. You never know when you might need one. So, go forth, my fellow humans, and embrace the future of cooking.